Let's talk more about Kanu politics. Joining me in studio is Dr. Walter Ongeti. He is a strategy and governance consultant. Thank you for being with us on News Center. Does Kanu have any weight in the August elections or is it a spent force? No, Kanu uh, may not be a spent force per se, mm -hmm. uh, but it will not have as much weight as it has had in the past. Uh, you will recall that um, in 2007, uh, Kanu uh, had to join or support uh, President Kibaki uh, in, a, in a session where President Kibaki himself uh, had to attend a Kanu delegates conference mm -hmm. uh, to request Kanu to support uh, him. And uh, of course, then traditionally, you will recall that Kanu was holding power during President Moy's uh, time. And of course, all these other leaders that we have today mm -hmm. are really coming from Kanu. So, um, what Kanu faces today is a catch-22 scenario that uh, they are likely to wonder where to go. Remember, NASA sort of crystallized its position yesterday and they were missing there. And uh, Jubilee seems to be locked on the other end uh, with the president and the deputy president. So they have to fight for the space. And I think that what they're trying to do now is to create that space. Yeah. What do you think it is they're putting into consideration? What cards are they considering before they make that final decision? I, I think the greatest cards that are being played here is the relationship between uh, President Moy and uh, the Kenyatta family. Mm -hmm. uh, that would play out very, very uh, much. And of course, then the other consideration to have in place is uh, if Kano would want to have uh, other elective seats apart from uh, the seats that are, that is the presidential seat. Because yeah. I don't think they'll be going for the presidency. They will just be seeking to create some space towards maybe getting a few governors and also getting a few senators and, and uh, MCAs and, and so forth. So yeah. that is the kind of thinking that Kanu would seek to have and the only way then they want to go in that kind of scenario is to seek to get in a sort of alliance uh, which enables them to feel candidates on their own. Right. And we've seen the Secretary General Nick Salat attend one of the events uh, uh, by NASA and make sentiments of support and then later on they're coming out a statement of clarification that they are yet to decide on which way they will go. What does that speak and say to the kind of whether it is tension, whether it is the push and pull within Kanu? Um, I think that is the creating of the space. Yeah. You see, they, they were trying to dangle the carrot and see if the other side uh, could respond. That is the Jubilee side. And, and the response came in quick and fast. Uh, you saw the uh, meeting uh, between President Moy and uh, Mamangina, followed by President Uhuru, uh, going to meet President Moy. And mm -hmm. of course, then now, uh, you are likely to hear that decision coming out today. So it is uh, likely that um, when Nick Salat was going in some of these NASA meetings, they, they were trying to just... Uh, raffle. Uh, raffle, having some ploy, and that is strategy, to see how then uh, NASA, uh, I mean, uh, Jubilee. Jubilee will respond. Because uh, looking at uh, the Kano strongholds, mm -hmm. it is likely for them to... Uh, get those seats that I was talking about if they are gravitating towards uh, Jubilee. And of course then uh, I, I do not think that uh, Kanu uh, with the strong support of President Moy, which cannot be ignored can attempt to go uh, and oppose uh, uh, President Uhuru. Yeah. You've talked about those visits with, by the president, his mom, to the retired president who was of course the former party leader Kanu. Do they have a significance? Are they the kind of visits that at the end of the day you know he's been told and show your people to the line? Uh, correct. Of course, uh, I don't think it is <laughs> it is done in that particular manner, but yeah. uh, that is actually the message that comes out. Uh, but of course, then, uh, pres the, you know, in politics, it's a matter of negotiating give and take, uh, and, and the President Moy would uh, be negotiating for to see uh, which kind of space yeah. uh, he is able to have his uh, loyalists uh, occupy. And that kind of space would include perhaps uh, allowing Kano to field its candidates, because I don't think Kano at this the wants to go in oblivion. It wouldn't want to be absorbed uh, in any other coalition and the name disappears completely. Mm. That's why you see uh, Kano still believes in that symbol of Jogo. Mm. And they're still going to go with that kind of approach that uh, if we are going to support a particular uh, coalition, we are going there, yes, as an independent party. But as independent as we are, we should be allowed to do our own things. But then for the presidential candidate, we want to support. Yeah. In this case, uh, my, my gut feeling goes with uh, President uh, uh, Kenyatta. And let's explore some of the 
squabbles, if I may call them that, we've seen play out between Jubilee and Kanu. Mm -hmm. uh, at one point, Kanu accusing Jubilee of stealing their party mm -hmm. colors, mm -hmm. you know, the red and the mm -hmm. white, mm -hmm. saying that the, the, it was in a bad faith mm -hmm. and contested the same with the political parties. Mm -hmm. And also, we've seen the deputy president and the party leader, uh, Kanu Moy Gideon, mm -hmm. as well spat in public that mm -hmm. the president had to say, you all need to, you know, mm -hmm. sort out your mm -hmm. issues and let's move forward. So what does that speak to what the relationship currently that exists between uh, Kanu and Jubilee? Um, uh, uh, Deputy President uh, still wants to occupy uh, the space, especially within Rift Valley. And uh, Deputy President appreciates uh, the strategy of having it all. Mm -hmm. uh, if you create room and space, and this has been well conversed in the 48 laws of power, and Deputy President follows that book to the letter. And in this particular case, uh, he wouldn't want to see a scenario where uh, parties mushroom, which then can overshadow him in any way. Mm -hmm. Remember that he is coming from a background uh, that uh, does not have any force of family and so forth that is supporting him. So he has had to fight his his way through uh, throughout his political career mm. and there is no way where he's gotten now he will then allow some other space to come in and occupy uh, that particular uh, one that he has created over time yeah. and so that would have been the reason that uh, uh, came in into, into this part and of course uh, Gideon Moy uh, trying to also now uh, replace uh, President Moy in that particular space that uh, President Moy was occupying and so that is what the kind of tension uh, that, that that existed uh, mm -hmm. between Kanu and, and, and Jubilee. And of course, when you come to colors, in my view, uh, perhaps when Jubilee was coming up with the colors, they may not have had that Kanu uh, colors and so forth at the back of their mind. And so by the time they realized that, it was so difficult to change. So they had to just hold that particular uh, position, yeah. in my view. Yeah. And do you think Kanu could decide to go it alone? Do you envision a Gideon Moy candidature for president? Um, uh, looking at his body language uh, throughout this particular political season, I, I do not think he would attempt to do it right now because uh, he has confined his politics around uh, Baringo and, uh, and West Pokot. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, I do not think at this particular juncture, 160 days uh, to the elections, yeah. he would attempt uh, to go that far. Yeah. And Kanu is described largely as Mama, Chamaya Baba na Mama, that all of these individuals at one point were in Kanu. That is where many of them, you know, honed their political skills. In essence, we are seeing now as well code, you know, changing to NASA, consolidating, uh, and as far as the outfit that they want to be in the elections. What does that say for a political landscape and the kind of alignments and realignments we witness, especially as we go to a general election? Um, the difference is uh, the same. The difference is the same. You are right, all, all these players, especially the ones at the very top, are currently the same, same people who are uh, in Kano. And if you go and look at the manifestos of all these parties, it will be uh, revolving around the same, same issues. And so at the end of the day, I do not think that we are likely going to see uh, anything uh, different. And you look at the pledges, for instance, uh, that were given, the seven pledges that were given by NASA mm, yesterday. Mm. And uh, they clearly show you that these are not well thought out. Uh, pledges, mm -hmm. uh, the pledges which revolve around the same same uh, issues. There is nothing uh, new that is coming on on the table. And so, unless we come up with a very revolutionary idea and thinking, uh, it's, it's one wants to imagine really that we are still uh, having the same musical chairs, mm -hmm. changing uh, the, the the monkeys are the same, perhaps mm -hmm. in their different forest, and and if they are human beings, just changing clothing for purposes of, of winning elections. Yeah, let's look, go back to Salat, the Secretary General. Do you think if perhaps Kanu chose to go with Jubilee, he would decide to stay with NASA? Because he's been on a couple, as we mentioned, of, their several, of the NASA events, then as Code and NASA. Uh, do you think he would uh, change Kanu? Uh, I, I do not think so. I do not think so. The reason being that um, uh, Nick Salat has uh, been a very loyal uh, supporter of the, uh, President Moy's family. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just moved from supporting President Moy himself and moved on to support Gideon Moy. I do not think 
uh, he has um, the stamina to stand it alone at this particular uh, juncture. Most likely what he would um, be doing is just to sort of toe the line um, and, and follow where Kano is going. The, the other thing is uh, you realize that he comes from uh, Bomet uh, County. Mm -hmm. And in Bomet County there is uh, Chama Chamashinani, which would be then, if he were to move out of uh, Jubilee, he would most likely go to uh, Chama Chamashinani. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chama Chamashinani has not made very strong uh, a decision as to where they will be going because they are also uh, playing the cat and mouse game, hoping that uh, Jubilee will be able to come up with a good deal for them because the ground has uh, gravitated mostly towards Jubilee Party. Yeah. So Nick in this particular uh, position, he is, uh, he is almost held uh, with the Kanu and if he has to make any other decision, it will be uh, CCM. Yes. Finally, today from that particular meeting, what do you expect we'll be hearing? Uh, the, uh, the expectation, and I think others would also uh, think around that area, I think we are likely just going to see um, Kanu uh, declare their support mm -hmm. uh, for President uh, Kibaki, I mean President Kenyatta, and secondly, then Kanu is just going to declare uh, that they are going to field their candidates in all the other positions. Okay. I, I do not see any other position other than that at, at this particular moment. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Walter Ongeti, Strategy and Governance Consultant, for being with us. We'll definitely